Hi everyone, welcome back to the cabin. It's Ian from Off Grid with Penny Glen Homestead. So hi to everybody. Uh, I'm sorry I've been quiet for the last few weeks. Well, about three weeks I've not done a video. Um, this video is a bit of an update really because of, I'll just tell everybody what's been happening. Um, as you know, I've been having problems with my stomach. Um, cut long so short, about three weeks ago, I, uh, I was having a lot of pain with my stomach. It was getting worse and worse. Um, and then uh, my brother came to see me and he was really worried about me. My brother Stuart, he came all the way from Bolton in Lancashire uh, to come up to see me because he knew I worked right. And he says, come on, I'm going to take you to hospital. He said, I'm not going to take you to hospital at Stram Round. We're going to go straight to Dumfries. Because what happens is if you go to Stram Round, you're not well. They transfer you to Dumfries anyway. So he says, he said, I'll take you to Dumfries. And if you say you're all right to come home, I'll bring you back. Right, so there's no worries with that. So I went, right, okay. So we went to Dumfries. And oh my God, I was like an old man walking in. So they did, an ex uh, they did tests on me. Uh, I had an x-ray side at bed, I've never had that before, usually I have to go to x-ray room. Uh, I had a scan done as well and they found that I had a big blockage. So that we could, that's what was causing all the pain, plus I've been in a lot of pain as well. So they kept me in, they kept me in for about three or four days, no, I think it was about four or five days actually they kept me in for. Uh, and, then, and then the last day, just before the doctor came to see me, Kev run me up. Right, this is true this, absolute true story. He rages when I tell people this, but I'm not bothered it was true. He rolled me up and he was nearly in tears on the phone. He's going, I can't cope, I can't cope, these dogs are driving me nuts. He's like that. He says, cats are tripping me up. He says, oh, dogs are murmuring and I can't sleep because of it and all this. He says, the animals are really missing you. I went, right, okay, Kev. He says, when you're coming home? I says, I don't know, Kev, as soon as the doctor said I can't come home. Anyway, doctor came in, this is an absolute true story, right? The doctor come in, he says, um, he says, are you still in a lot of pain? I goes, yeah, which I was, right? He says, well, you've got to have an enema done, which I weren't looking forward to. I'd never had out like that done before. And I wouldn't recommend it to you either, because you do run, literally run to the toilet when you're at it. So he says... So he says, what we're going to do is we're going to keep you in for about two more days and stabilise you with pain, pain relief and then you can go home when you, if, if you're the enemies work like. I said, well, look, I says, I says they, they're pretty much all right with my tablets. They've got them all organised. So I said, if you give me a load of stuff to take home, then I'll have it at home. And then, um, you know, I'll have the enema done. If everything's OK, I'll just go home then. He said, well, you, I'd rather you stop, you know, and I knew Kev weren't coping. He says, I'd, I'd rather you stop him. Right? So I says, well, I know, I really do need to get back. So he says, right, OK. So anyway, they had the enema done, which isn't nice to talk about. I had that. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's enough said. So I had that done. Um, and then they give me this big bag of tablets. Right? Now, this video, I've not really got much video in done because I've just been resting up since this has happened. Things have happened, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So anyway, they brought me home hey, and they gave me this bag of tablets. Now this bag of tablets I'm going to show you is also my normal medication as well because the chemist delivered it. Right? This is one month's supply of all this stuff. And I've got these bloody bottles, which is in there as well. I've got these bottles I've got to drink liquid off four times a day and stuff just to keep me right. So I'm going to add the picture. It might we can't date a video around a picture, but it'll only be on for a few seconds. Now that's some serious tablets I'm on, isn't it? So that's what I'm on now. So the other things have happened. I've been rested up, obviously, and then Paul, who's on the channel, he's in, he's in the Patreon section. He's a member in the Patreon, and he sent a message to me the other week, and he says. Oh, he says, you've not mentioned your well for ages and your pump. Is everything going all right with it? Anyway, when I, when I read that, I thought, that's kiss of death, that. Something's going to happen now. Anyway, about a week ago, I was jetting the yard down at the back and the water just stopped and I knew, I just knew the, hold, the holding tank uh, had gone empty, stopped flowing from the well in Woodland. So I turned everything off and I went out and, yeah, it was empty. So I'll show you a picture of it empty. Right, so that's it empty. 
So then what we did was we had to put a pump in it, which I've got, and then we suck what's left of the water all the way back through to the well, and then it flows back through normally and fills up again. So we did that. So I'll add the photos of the well with it back up to the top again. So you can see that now. And then the other problem we had is because the pump had been turned off for so long, because it took like nearly 12, 18, hour, 18 hours for the actual water to fill back up in the tank, because it's a big tank. So I couldn't have the, the pump on to pump the water back through. So the problem is, it's a, it's a priming pump. It's not a self-primer, it's a priming pump. So if you leave it too long turned off, then the water drains out, so you've got to prime it. Well, I'll be honest, I've never primed it before. So normally I've got to pay for a plumber to come and prime it. So I said, Kev, I've got to get this pump on, because you know it's been off a long time. So I turned it on, and it's trying to work, but obviously it's not working, so I turned it off. So I'm thinking, this is going to cost me 50, 60 quid now to get primed. So, so I told Kev, like, he goes, right, he said, we'll sort it tomorrow, we'll get a plumber out, it's supposed to be right. So all that night it rolled my mind. So I thought, well, answer to everything is YouTube, isn't it? So I YouTubed it, and it showed on the pump this little nut on the top. So I, I went out at 12 o'clock at night with a head torch on, and I, I got the nut off, and then I filled the tank up in there, full to top with water. It took a big two litre bottle of water to fill it, put the cap on, turn the pump on, work to dream. So now, we know, I know now if the pump ever needs priming, I know exactly how to do it, so, so that'll save me money. So it's a good thing, it's good that I've learned that over time. So that happened. We've also had some visitors at the cabin, Susie and Scott from Glasgow, they came to see us. So I'll add a photo with, a visit, with, a visit, with us all in the kitchen, struggled then, did I? So I'll add that now. Now they came to see us in a big motor home they've just recently bought, a massive thing. So I took some photos of it on the outside. It's absolutely massive, it's brilliant. Honestly it is, so have a look at this. Now, I bought this about a week and a half, well, a couple of weeks ago, I bought this. Now, I got this from the reuse shop in Stramra, because you don't know, like to go there and get stuff to support them. And it's a coffee grinder. It's an electric one, and it's, in, it's brand new. I still had all the stickers on when I got it. So that's it. Oh, wrong way. So that's it. So... That's your, you put the coffee beans in there and then you put the lid on obviously and it clicks in and then you press your button and then it grounds them all obviously and then you literally just turn it upside down and then all your coffee powders there then. So we'll have a go at that when my kitchen's built. We are hoping to start the kitchen in the next week or so. So we're doing a video on that. Uh, I've done some jobs in here on the cabin as well. Now this is going to bugger up all my lighting I've done now for filming, so bear this in mind. Now as you remember I've got these lights here, these computer lights I've been using, keyboard lights. Now they don't, when all the lights are on with these keyboard lights it doesn't make a dent on the eco floor down there on power consumption because a really really tiny tiny amount of power. So I've got them quite all over so let me turn it on, it's going to bugger my lighting up. See, look, it's like Wembley. This is the kitchen that I have lit up when I'm doing the cooking and stuff, so it's brilliant. And then obviously down it goes for filming. So so that's that. Uh, there was something else I was going to tell you, and I can't think what it was now. Oh yeah, we bought, uh, we bought another eco floor for down at the bottom. I'll show you that now. So what we've got is, with the eco floor we've got down at the bottom, that runs all the power in the kitchen. The next one up, eco floor, that runs all the internet throughout the cabin. The one above does the fridge and the freezers. And then the... Yeah, that's right. I, I'm just checking I've said it right. And then the eco... Uh, the bluetta that's over on the other side, 
that powers all the the electric going into the middle room like the TV and all the other stuff lighted and stuff the middle one that powers all the lights going down into the cabin into the living room power in the living room Kev's bedroom power in the corridor and then the first one powers all the water from the well and it also powers the washing machine as well which powers this washing machine and like I say the the, the, the new eco floor, which I hope I'm not confused yet, the new eco floor that I said runs a power in here, that runs this washing machine here. So, so we've got enough power now, plus we've got all the booster power packs all over as well. So even if these run empty, which they won't, but even if they run empty with the solar, then if these drain, then there's still all the power left in all the all the batteries going all the way down. So there's plenty of power. So I would probably say now we've got about three or four days of power on normal use if we don't get any sun. Well definitely three, I'd say nearly four touching if we're careful. So I'm really really pleased with that. Now listen, before I go, there's two birthdays last week. There is Susie, so hi Susie if you're watching, happy birthday, sorry it's a bit late. And then also Lily from America, uh, California, so hi Lily, that was her birthday last week as well. So I will see you all next week. Now next week I've got a big thing that's happening with the channel. So you must tune in to watch. And I will see you all next week. Next week. And before I go, if you could do a couple of things for me. Uh, one, if you could press the like button for the video if you've enjoyed it. It really does help with the YouTube rather even. And also if you could press subscribe. If you've been watching the videos before and you haven't subscribed yet then please consider subscribing or if it's your first time today you're watching this video please subscribe really does help I'm doing my very best to earn everybody's subscription to the channel um, so it really does help We're, the channel's now got 41,000 subscribers so I'm absolutely over the moon so thank you to everybody that has subscribed I really am and I also want to thank people that subscribe to the Patreon section without your support and funding the channel would really struggle to run so thank you very much I dedicate all my videos to the Patreon section so you know exactly who you all are and you're very good patrons and you're great what you've done for me now listen I will see you all next week like I say tune in next Sunday I've got a fantastic video coming and I have you're going to like it honestly and I will see you next time back down at the cabin and don't ever forget Thank you, do. Stay safe, stay well. See you next week.